first message out for you is um, I feel there is some type of a either concerns about the home or some type of movement within the home. So people moving in, people moving out, you yourself could be looking for a new property or thinking about a home. Um, one of the things I would advise is try to declutter your environment um, just to begin with because, you know, I feel that this is something I've been getting for a lot of um, air signs in general. Uh, you are heavily, heavily affected by your environment. And uh, what I'm feeling, especially for you, Aquarius, is I feel that, you know, you, you get a lot of, you're ruled by Uranus. You're getting a lot of intuitive messages and even psychic impressions from things, objects, people. And it's really important for you to try to minimize the amount of clutter, the amount of things in your immediate vicinity, okay, because you're getting psychic impressions from them, and it can scatter your thinking, and it can give you a lot of nervous energy as well because of that uh, Uranian energy. Um, also, your ancient ruler is Saturn, and it's really important for you. Saturn deals with structure, foundations, and things like that. When your external environment, and especially I'm seeing a lot of home situation, if your external environment is not stable, it can destabilize you mentally and emotionally. So keep your environment m minimal, like uh, try to be a little bit more of a minimalist. Uh, hang on to essential things, clear your desk. If you're trying to concentrate, try to clear up your desk and things like that, okay? What I'm also feeling is um, for the next few months, I do sense it is really important uh, to focus on your career, okay? So leave distractions on the back burner, leave other things on the back burner. You can go back to them at a later date, but I do feel that attention needs to be paid, att um, paid to in the work environment, in the... Um, professional environment okay so keep your head in the game don't rest on your laurels don't procrastinate on um, if you have things to do regarding uh, work if you have projects that are um, that you've been procrastinating on it is really really important to keep those things um, in the front burner okay so focus your energy in that regards and then the rest of the pieces in your life would start to fall into place, so to speak. Um, I do see a lot of communication on the professional front. So if you're job hunting, for example, um, I do feel that, you know, you're, you're kind of like being there. I see rapid communication. You're kind of um, being called to hype up your assets, hype up your skills, hype up, you know, the things that you're bringing to the table. And I do feel that this can play out on the profession, uh, on the love front and on the romance front as well, where people might ask you, you know, like, what do you have to offer and um, why should I go with you? Things like that. So I do feel it's really important to, you know, keep your head very, very focused. Um, sell yourself. Sell yourself. You have a lot of good skills. You are a very, very good communicator. Uh, your ability to think creatively and to think outside the box no one can rival you in that regard, okay? So hype up your skills, hype up your assets, and know that you have a lot to offer. I do see official documents being signed. I don't know if it has come in for July and then you're finalizing everything, but I do see you signing on the dotted line. I do sense as well that there might be... Um, I see you looking over um, letters like... Um, and I, I feel like they're more official in nature, like letters, documents, court situations, things that you have to sort out in that regards. OK, so that's just something to keep your um, eyes on about and, and to keep your um, yourself, you know, um, organized and things like that. OK, so be careful about documents. Glance them over a few times if you need to. OK, so let's see what's going on here. Yeah, so once again, we have the justice card here. So I, I do see official documents. All right, so let's go into your spread here. Um, the first thing out of the spread here is the high priestess. And the high priestess indicates heightened intuition. Like I mentioned, you are getting a heavy, heavy dose of psychic energy coming through for you. And um, this is, I feel, in a very, very good way. Because what's coming through 
in conjunction with the high priestess is the seven of swords which indicates some type of uh, misdealing somebody doing something a little bit sneaky being a little bit cunning in your environment that you need to be very mindful about okay a lot of you are physically moving home and potentially scrapping away a lot of things that you don't need that are you know excessive or that are superfluous in your life so I do sense that um, it's really important if you're doing anything to look over it twice make sure you're not leaving important things behind so if you're moving location if you're moving from one apartment one house to another just make sure that you don't you know throw out things that can be um, of value to you especially important papers I'm seeing a lot of papers with the high priestess and this is something coming through um, heavily and I, I do sense that you know it does indicate some type of contract where you have to read the fine print and you have to read between the lines okay I do sense a little bit of communication as well and I do feel that it, the communication might deal with the home environment might deal with family issues and it deals with security for some reason uh, the word security comes in and it deals with I feel more emotional security so you're trying to procure something that has a little bit more longevity for you further down the line so it's really important this month um, to to really focus on that and I feel honestly this energy is coming out so early in the spread it indicates to me possibly the last week of June I'm sorry July July the last week of July something came through that deals with communication that deals with um, your sense of personal security something coming through it has been brought to light and you're made aware of this fact and I feel like if you're dealing with another air sign Aquarius Gemini and Libra Sun Moon or rising uh, I feel this might be their moon sign I feel like if you're dealing with somebody specifically an air sign that is um, the air element being their moon sign there's something coming to light there's a very strong connection here where if they have been um, dishonest if there there is information that they're hiding you're getting psychic impressions as to what these issues might be you're getting hints here and there from your spirit guides from your higher self from the universe to tell you there's a little bit more to the story so you might want to you know um, observe all the facts analyze the facts and at least you know don't rush anything because like um, you're getting psychic impressions for a reason and sometimes they can serve as a warning sign they're not always bad but they're always like there to tell you you're missing a few items in that entire story so don't rush anything for this month okay so I feel like this is something that might have happened the last week of um, July and it's permeating yeah I feel like it's gonna be prevalent throughout the month of August so you know try not to jump the gun try not to rush anything and try not to you know put all your eggs in one basket if this is a person that you're dealing with there's some type of communication that you're not getting the whole story about and once again I feel like there's communication back and forth and I feel like one person is just like oh I've it seems to me like one person is thinking um, I've got it in the bag and I don't know if it's you or the other person that you're dealing with but I feel like someone is saying oh I've got this one in the bag in the bag it's a sure choice but I feel that it's a little bit of a premature uh, assessment okay so take a step back from this and to read between the the lines and mull it over mull it over the second uh, cluster of cards coming through we do have the alchemist which is the magician and the six of cups so first of all once again I'm seeing something you know dealing with documents I'm seeing like uh, perusing something looking a little bit more inspecting something and looking a little bit more closely into a situation and to figure out what it is that uh, this teach this um, situation is teaching us uh, on a larger scale what is the main message and what is the main lesson that we're supposed to learn from this okay I feel for a lot of you um, there so regardless of where you are in life you're either at a new job you're either in school you're either working and regardless of whatever situation you're dealing with I do feel that there is something that you're supposed to learn okay so this the magician usually shows up to me and I'm getting the impression that there is something that you're supposed to uh, either expand your knowledge about there's a need to brush up on some things there's a need to go into a further course of study 
Um, a lot of you might be contemplating going back to school, and I do sense it's going to be a good time for you to do that right now, okay? Um, if you're thinking about that, if you're thinking about taking a training course or, you know, doing a full two-year master's, four years, bachelor's, and another, you know, what, four or five years for a PhD program, I highly recommend it. I see some training in the picture, and I do see that you might be in a position where somebody who is in a very, very high status is either training you, is offering you some insights, is offer you, offering you some guidance. I see a lot of mentorship associated with this card. So if you are a little bit confused about life and you're looking for a mentor, you're looking for a sense of life direction, I do feel there is a very, very strong, I feel like it's an intellectual, emotional, and um, career oriented professional mentor coming into the picture and will be able to help you flush out some ideas or to at least give you a sense of guidance as to what you're supposed to do okay um, because we have the justice card at the end of this in in the advice position what I'm also feeling as well is a lot of you might be consulting somebody as to how to move forward with a situation uh, if someone has been um, unscrupulous for example if, if there has been situations with intellectual property theft if there has been a situation where um, your ideas were being used or abused or taken from you and um, claimed by another person I do sense that you're perusing over uh, rules regulations somebody could also be um, coming into the picture to help you navigate the waters okay we do have here the Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is a situation where, um, you know, it, it deals with like soulmate, past life type of an energy. And what I'm feeling here is that a lot of you are taking steps in order to expand or somehow look at a situation realistically. So in the past, you might have had like a very strong emotional reaction positive or negative or a mixture of both with a specific person and whoever this person is you feel like the ties cannot be severed no matter how hard you try you you can't have trouble letting it go or you have um there might be uh, honestly i'm feeling a lot of dreams a lot of like naive energy where you see the best in the other person you might have like a cord of attachments or even psychic dreams or premonition about this person or when you're around this person and it's really hard for you to sever the ties because um of these feelings of of these um past life connections okay but i feel for this month rather than ruminating on you know oh this is the one for me i feel that you're looking at the bigger picture and you're thinking to yourself what is the purpose of them in my life? What is the overall goal that I'm, what am I learning from this relationship? So you're detaching yourself emotionally from this situation and objecting it. Um, and like, I'm sorry, not up and you're observing it for more, more of a bystander's perspective. And you're looking at this from like a more of a bird's eye view to see what type of lessons you're supposed to learn from this uh, union okay, or this person. So I do feel some type of a mentorship that is really good for you coming into the picture, some type of um, consultant advice coming through in like uh, the nick of time when you really, really need their skills, their help and their guidance. Um, what I'm also feeling as well is, um, I'm sensing that a lot of you might be interested in somebody and um, there's this back and forth. There's this back and forth between, I, I feel like there's this back and forth between reciprocity when it comes to, you know, um, I, I feel two people getting cold feet. And Aquarius, you, you are very non-committal, but once you commit, you are very faithful, you are very reliable, and you're a fixed sign. So if you say you're going to do something, you always do it. But getting yourself to that um, point where you can actually commit to doing something or being with somebody, that's the hard part, and that's, that's a, a long process. It might take a while. So I see two people a little bit hesitant, and I feel like a situation where there might be age gaps, there might be different socioeconomic um, stations. You know, one person is earning a lot more, the other person is earning less, something like that. 
And I feel like social expectations interfering with the relationship too. Like what society deems to be appropriate. So I feel all of that coming through, okay? Now, in terms of your communication, we do have the King of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So you've got a lot of uh, water signs that has been in the mix for the past few months. So the King of Cups is a water sign. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, their sun, moon, or rising. And this is somebody who is, in this deck, very, very emotionally controlled, okay? Um, they are highly psychic, highly intuitive. They are very, very good judge of character. And I do see in this deck, this person shows up as someone who is a little bit passive, okay? They want, they seem to me to be a little bit secretive as well. They hold their cards close to their chest. Um, they analyze a situation for quite some time before they step out from, you know, their throne and make a move. So I definitely feel that you're dealing with somebody like this. You might have, um, this person might have caused you a lot of distress because they're so passive. Um, they might have caused a lot of confusion because um, they seem very guarded. And there might have been just uh, sporadic, uh, unstable, or, you know, questionable communication back and forth between you and this person. And I do sense it is causing a little bit of strife. It is causing a little bit of grief on your end. A lot of you simply could be staying up very, very late communicating with or talking to this um, this person. Um, both of these cards coming out like this. Let me see here. So I guess it would be like this because the Nine of Swords coming first. I feel the communication. So I feel, Aquarius, you are a really um, succinct communicator. So I feel like the, the other person might be the one that is giving you mixed messages or that is um, giving you cause for concern. There's some communication with them, and this can be a romantic partner, or it can just be a friend, a colleague, or somebody that you're dealing with heavily for this month. And the communication um, from them to you could be a little bit problematic, okay? So I just want to say here that... We do have a high priestess, which indicates, you know, some type of concealed information. We do have the magician, which is you analyzing, ruminating over, looking over a situation very, very carefully and um, reading between the lines. And I feel that by possibly, you know, second, third week of the month, you are just emotionally and mentally very, very overtaxed and in, on top of that, there's some confusing, confusing, conflicting, uh, sporadic communication coming through from the other person, okay? So keep in mind that this energy itself, don't uh, get yourself locked into a series of you know negative thinking. Try to maintain your sense of optimism and imbue this situation with positive energy. If you need to turn off your phone, if you need to like, you know, um, stop the communication, just take a break from it. And I feel like the other person shows up as somebody who's very nurturing, very caring. They, in their negative manifestations, they can be a little bit emotionally withdrawn as well. When they feel hurt, when they feel um, sad, they can, you know, just um, emotionally hold back affection and things like that. So I feel like that's what's happening here. Uh, in addition, a lot of you could be dealing with um, a water sign that might be going through a little bit of a depressive slump. You might be dealing with somebody who is a little bit like depressed, who's um, who hasn't have gotten their life together financially. So that's something that you're dealing with um, coming through heavily for August. OK, it can play out as a father figure, I feel. But I'm, I'm sensing that this water sign might have children with them. There might be children in the mix. OK. Now, in terms of love and romance, this is interesting. We've got another water sign. You've got the Prince of Cups and the Lover's card. Now, the Prince of Cups is somebody, once again, another water sign. But this is coming across to me as an offer of love, an offer of um, something coming back. Okay, so something coming through. A lot of you might have somebody coming back from the past and giving you an offer. This could be a job offer. This could also be like... Um, an offer in love as well, but I, I do feel some type of a flashback energy 
coming through, okay? So first of all, the Knight of Cups, this can be a water sign as well, another water sign. So um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the way this person is, is that um, they are very, very cautious. They're, you know, generally very easygoing, a little bit passive as well. They're not going to be very direct and, you know, just um, headstrong. They don't push, pursue or push a certain agenda. So they might be a little bit standoffish and they might be a little bit uh, detached. What I'm also getting from this card is this is somebody that is very shy, that is very hesitant about entering new things. They are very cautious about their emotions as well. Uh, they have a lot of emotions, like they, they're very intense, but they hold back. So the, the veneer or the, the front that they put on in a social interaction is one that is uh, very, that is very like poker face, but deep down their emotions run deep. And I do sense there's a lot of sincerity here. There's a lot of sweet, good energy. This is somebody generally with a very good heart. They care about other people and they try not to do anything to hurt another person on purpose. Okay. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who is, um, who, who's a very good person, has a good heart overall. And it's linked up here with the lover. So a lot of you might be making a decision here about what you need to do about this offer, whether or not you're going to take up on this offer or whether or not you're going to decline. I do sense as well, like I mentioned, don't let the love energy, don't let the romance, don't let, you know, um, people coming into your life and destabilizing you for this month. I feel that there is a lot of good energies for career and things that you need to sort out from your end. So don't use these things as distraction. These are all great, great energies coming through, offers and things like that. But I feel like at the expense of your emotional and mental health, you really need to sort out where you need to be and what you need to do for yourself to um, either build up that financial foundation, that professional image, or that, you know, build up your future for further success. And that's where your energy should be siphoned. And that's the best use and the most constructive use of your energy. So while all of these things are coming through, and I do feel especially towards the second half of August, it would be in your best interest to try to um, minimize the impact that this is having on your life. So for example, if you've got a new person coming through, that might be a water sign or an old person coming back. And rather than, you know, getting sleep, like adequate sleep, you're staying all night, texting them, emailing them, communicating with them. And that's fun and great. And, you know, that's just something expected at the beginning of a relationship. But if it's something that uh, you're doing to interfere with your sleep and you're being very unproductive the next day, at work, for example, it can really be detrimental. Okay, so moderation, I feel, is the key, but I don't feel that you're overindulging in love and things like that. You're overindulging in communication, in overthinking, in overanalyzing as well. So I do sense, you know, keep yourself in a uh, stable, grounded frame of mind. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. But I do see a lot of communication coming through, messages, even official documents. Now, in terms of your advice, let's look at this situation. We do have the moon card, and the moon card usually indicates, um, once again, heightened psychic uh, impressions coming through from you. You're inundated with a lot of psychic um, impressions, messages, inspiration even, okay? So this is a good month if you are at all artistic. If you do any type of creative ventures, if you do any type of um, manifestation, magic, and things like that, I do sense this is a very, very good month where you are going to be loaded with um, psychic intuition. So a lot of it can come in your dream state as well. So it might, you know, disrupt your sleep patterns. Um, just make sure that you, you know, get the situation under control. And what I'm also feeling as well is, um, you know, going back to what I mentioned about your house environment, and if your house is like cluttered, and if it has a lot of stuff, if you're bringing a lot, so for example, if you are somebody who collects antiques, 
um, you know, like every living object, it has, um, it, it absorbs energy. We are dealing with all types of energy interference here, okay? So if you're somebody that brings a lot of old things into your house, if you're like a little bit of a pack rat, I would advise you to either sage your house or try to minimize the clutter in your environment because you're picking up a lot of psychic impressions. So that's something I, I want to keep in you to keep in mind about. Um, doing more meditation, I do feel would be good for you, especially right before bedtime. I highly recommend it, okay? And um, with the moon card here, it's basically saying to you, there is some more information that you need to know, and you don't know the full story yet. And I feel that, you know, as an Aquarius, you have to know something. And you become very tunnel vision, very fixated, very OCD when you want to know something that you might not have all the information on. And it's hard for you to just um, let things go. So in this quest, in this push for clear information in this push to want to know everything it can be very very detrimental to your ability to you know uh, make decisions so i'm getting chakra realignment some type of reiki healing if that's something you need to do um, another thing i want to mention is uranus your ruling planet is in retrograde right now it started uh, its retrograde cycle in July 30th, and um, be, it being your ruler, there are a lot of unexpected events, information, communication, and just, you know, um, things coming at you from the left field that you might not um, anticipate. So all of these surprises can be very exciting, and you like excitement. But it can also be a little bit troublesome if you are trying to get things started, if you're trying to get push things along and they're not going in the direction that you're thinking about. So my advice is detach from this, okay? Um, focus on the things that you can control, which is your immediate environment, your home, your jobs, the things that you're doing on a daily basis because I feel like that's where your mind needs to be focused, okay? Um, so once again, with the moon card, it is uh, telling me there is a situation that you are, you don't have all the information. So don't celebrate prematurely because I do feel there is some type of a um, balancing act that needs to happen towards the end of this um, month, okay? So what it's saying is that um, if you're celebrating something prematurely, something would come in to disrupt it. And likewise, there is a situation that you're involved here where I feel like, you know, the Three of Cups is generally it's generally a very very good card that indicates a celebration so don't celebrate something prematurely until you sign on the dotted line and and you know for a fact that something is coming through for certain for you um the three of cups regardless of how it plays out i do feel there's an element here of job interviews okay usually the three of cups indicates gossip like if especially if it's reversed but in this context, I feel like even on a job interview, there could be um, people, you know, like you're, you're going on an interview, the people that are interviewing you are going to be talking about you. So in a way, it denotes somebody talking about you. But I do sense there is going to be some uh, type of a divine rectification, some type of a um, balancing. It's like the universal rebalancing act, okay? So something is coming through that can be very positive. You're signing some documents. You're, I, I do see you signing some documents. There's discussions. There's back and forth, possibly negotiating if you are negotiating for some type of a raise or if you are negotiating some type of... Um, I, I'm sensing very, very strongly if you're dealing with any court situation, there is something coming through here that indicates to me a very successful, satisfactory conclusion, okay? So things are being righted and they're going to be uh, really good, but I don't feel it happening the beginning, rather um, the end of the month, okay? Um, if you're waiting on, if you're dealing with somebody who has been very distressed because of some legal issues as well, I do feel that you're taking over the reins and you're trying to help them move past this, either emotionally, like you're, you're kind of like um, the person, their cheerleader, their support system, 
or you are taking on the responsibility of like the consultant to help them move along and to alleviate stress, strain, possibly depression that they're dealing with, okay? So if you have somebody in your midst that is a water sign and um, I feel like it might be their moon sign, their moon sign, so that can be, you know, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, moon sign, who's dealing with some legal issues as well, or even their sun, moon, or rising. But I feel like heavy moon energy with this, um, I feel a situation getting turned around, okay? Um, other interpretations of the Three of Cups, once again, it deals with, you know, third-party involvement, but I'm going to do, do the love reading and see if that shows up, okay? So I'm using a different deck. So this is, you know, the standard, um, this is the Paulina Cassidy deck. Haven't used this in a while, and I feel like this is a good month to make a comeback. So let's just see what's going on for you. This is a very good deck for love readings, I feel. So I'm going to try to, um, well, actually, so same format. And let's see what's coming on for you. So Aquarius, Love and Relationships, August 2016. Yeah, you've definitely got a situation in your life that is making a comeback. So let's just go over this and I'll pull out more cards in a little bit. First of all, at the center of the reading here is um, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. So the Ten of Swords in the reverse indicates a situation that is um, you thought was done and over with. You thought you wouldn't get the communication and you thought that, you know, it, um, it, it's already in your past. It's making a comeback. This can also be the reemergence of something that um, was potentially quite uh, painful is making a comeback in your life. So I do feel some type of a flashback energy where you might have somebody that you're dealing with making in the past that is making a comeback in your life, okay? Uh, what's coming through here is the Eight of Wands, which is the Arrows of Love. This is like swift, swift, rapid communication. This can also indicate long distance communication, having a relationship with another person long distance. And it can also indicate a situation where... Um, um, there's a lot of communication back and forth. So a lot of communication with another person. And I do feel the communication is quite joyous, but I do sense um, a little bit of worries associated with it as well, because the foundation on which this situation is built is the nightmare card. So going back to the previous spread, a lot of you might be dealing with a water sign because we have the same energies here. Nine of Swords and Nine of Swords once again. And the Nine of Swords was linked up here with the King of Cups, which is an, a water sign. Sun, Moon, Arising, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So a situation is making a comeback. There is communication coming through. The communication is worrisome. I don't know why, but I'm getting like um, some sense of um, anxiety. Uh, not Feeling tongue-tied. I'm getting feeling tongue-tied not knowing what to say i also get a lot of you are trying to impress somebody so you're very cautious about what you say um because i feel like you're overthinking it and then you're trying to like present yourself in the best light you're also trying to you're also like reading too much into these text messages you're reading too much between the lines you could just be physically staying up very very late in order to just communicate with a with another person i do sense there's an element of distance associated with this as well in the past position we have the eight of cups and the eight of cups usually indicates to me uh a situation where we have physically like sailed on okay we're happy, we are feeling very, very elated, and it's a situation, once again, that we thought was dead, out of the water, but we're cycling back to it, okay? What I'm getting here as the crowning energy is the Six of Coins, and the Six of Coins is, once again, in a love reading, this denotes somebody who is potentially dividing their time between two people in the reverse position choices are being narrowed down so honestly i'm feeling like for a lot of you you might be you might have two people that you're 
I, I don't feel that there's, um, well, there, there's two people regardless. And you might just be communicating back and forth with both of them. It would explain why you, why you are worried, why there's a lot of anxiety here. Um, afraid of getting caught, afraid of, you know, something like that. But I, I feel like somebody is, is, um, has recently made a choice that I can't keep up this charade. I think I need to narrow down my, my choices, my options. And from that point, you are then able to, you know, uh, divert your energy exclusively to one person, which is great. So let's just see who this communication is directed towards. So you have here the Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords indicate an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So I feel like towards the end of, um, sometime during this month, you might exclusively devote your attention or um, pour your attention towards like an air sign, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And let me see, what is this Ten of Swords here? We have the Knight of Cups, so you've got an, a water sign that is com making a comeback in your life. This could also be a new water sign, but the emotional response that they invoke in you, I feel like this is a, a sincere offer. I do feel somebody coming through with a message of love, okay? So this might serve as confirmation for somebody. If you're wondering, you know, how does that person feel about me and things like that, I feel that they are sincere. So... The Ten of Swords, once again, a situation making a comeback in our lives. There is some type of a an offer. There is some type of like um, a feeling being revived, a person, uh, a person's presence being re-injected into our lives. And I feel like a lot of you might have dated this person or might have thought about this person a lot. And you might have tried to move on with an air sign and this person's making a comeback in your life. And I feel like there's almost that element here of you might be, you might have already moved on and you don't want to entertain the thought. So that is potentially something coming through. And I'm going to pull out a card with the Nine of Swords just to see why you are so stressed out about this. Okay, so the Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety, and things like that. We have the Eight of Swords, which is um, a lot of you might have moved forward and this person came back a little bit too belatedly. A lot of you might have just like um, been waiting, 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 and you were sick and tired of it. And you might have just been like, okay, I'm cutting my losses because this is su taking such an emotional strain on me. And you might not have another person right now, but you're just like, the situation is not really worth it. Or you are finally getting the confirmation that you need from the other person, that they are interested. So as a result of it, you might go forward with it, okay? So either way, it looks really good, but I do see a little bit of hesitation because, um, you know, whenever we deal with a different element, it's really hard to gauge intention. So I feel like, once again, be very, very slow and, um, you know, be careful about this. And we also have the Empress linked up with the Eight of Swords. And the Empress usually indicates either a person who might have uh, had a spouse, like they were married to somebody, and this person is drifting away from the picture. Or there might be situations about, you know, having trouble building a stable foundation with another person. So you might like them a lot. They might like you a lot. But in terms of like life goals and, and circumstances, where you are professionally, where they are professionally, where um, how you're going to be able to build a foundation with them. Because the Empress is the birth of something. 